Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and here we're starting another tutorial series. Uh, the last one was on sculpting this head in Blender, and today we're going to retopologize it. So this is part one. Now, uh, because this is such a retopology, it also deals with normal topology and things like that. It's going to be quite long, so I can't say how many parts this is going to be. So let's just go ahead and start. So we have, if you haven't seen the head sculpting tutorial, I suggest you check it out. And uh, before we even start, I'm gonna save this as a different file because right here we have a just head sculpting tutorial. I'm gonna call this head retopology tutorial, retopo tutorial. There we go. I'm gonna save this as part one because uh, with this one just in case uh, maybe I do something wrong or the file gets corrupted I want to be able to go back to the file part so this is for part one so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we need well actually let me explain retopology we have our sculpted mesh here let me go down a couple levels yeah and actually actually let me just go to wire that would be better okay so here you can see we have our mesh topology and you can see it's really horrible it's just straight lines we have no edge loops uh, here the eyes are just straight lines down it's just manipulated topology and it's very very horrible so what retopology does is it uh, you can remake this topology while preserving the form we're retopologizing the model but because uh, I don't, this is not what I want the final render to look like. This is just the guides we uh, we made to look. We're gonna, <clears throat> sorry about my voice. We, uh, we're we gonna make uh, the final model look a lot different. But this is this was just a starting point. So, first thing we need to do is we need to bring in a mesh. So let's press space, add mesh cube. Press tab to go into edit mode and then press X to delete vertices on account of we don't need any of them. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is add a mirror modifier because we don't want to have to sculpt both of these sides and we want it to be symmetrical. So let's go ahead and just start out. We uh, also want to press retopo and what this does it uh, makes it uh, gr anything that we put on the, the screen here like if we add a vertice it will automatically go to uh, where another mesh is. Let's go to object mode really quick. Let's go ahead and move these eyes because I want to let's move it to the third layer, M3. I want to uh, make these eye holes and it would be hard to do that with eyeballs there. So let's go back into edit mode. Oh wait, yeah, uh, actually, okay here we go, you have to click the origin point. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's go ahead and just control click right here. And let's also turn this on here so we can see the mirror modifier. Let's get to this little widget here. And as you can see here, uh, that the the vertice or the vertex it follows wherever this mesh is. So that's great. We don't have to worry about volume uh, preserving the volume. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just get right into this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make uh, some loops around the eyes, some loops around the mouth. And and then we'll just work from there. But those are the main loops I want to get. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have five vertices on the bottom and five on the top. So we, I want ten all in all. Okay, so we're just going to have this selected with right click and then we're going to control click. Two, control click. Three, control click. Four, control click. Five. It's five on the bottom. I've got control click one. Two, three, four, five. We're just going to bring this up a little bit here. This down. Okay. There we go. Actually, no, we don't. Let's move this back to right about there. Okay, and then we'll just add these two faces here. F. Now we'll go ahead and select this here, and we'll press E to extrude only edges and we'll just scale in a little bit like so bring it on the Y over here let's go ahead and smooth it out because that helps a lot here in this case and we'll go ahead and redirect the 
topology. Oh, another really great feature here is if we go over here to the object panel and we turn on X-ray, we can see whatever's going on with this. So make sure you turn that on. It's really useful. Now remember, we're not going for the form of this previous model. We're just trying to poly model ahead with all the correct um, edge loops and, to, and uh, things like that. Okay, I, and also to, just to say something, I was go going to make this a time lapse video, kind of like that, and uh, post commentate, but uh, I figure this is a lot more helpful. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to select these top five vertices here, press E to extrude, extrude up, and scale over, and then smooth out a couple times, like so. Okay, make sure everything's good. And then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Extrude that like so. Smooth, smooth. Scale up some. I'm just going to stuff around like this. Okay, now we're just going to four vertices there. Oh, see, if it doesn't, um, if you press F and nothing happens, that's because it can't make a face. Because, um, it's not feasible. It's the geometry isn't straight, or or it can't just uh, it can't do it because it's it's not right the way it's the way it is. There we go. See, there it works. Okay, and we keep rolling. Make sure we have edge loop there, edge loop here. Okay, and to check if you have an edge loop, just press Control R and go over the edge. Okay, another thing we want to do is we want to turn on do clipping. And uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and keep rolling. Let's go ahead and press E to uh, select these two here. Press E to extrude. Bring it in. Now a problem with extruding two vertices like this is that this weird bunching up happens. So let's just move it in a little bit, and then we'll individually select the points until they clip together. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, select this one here and make sure that it's clipped, make sure these are clipped, okay and then we'll go ahead and select this, I have to make a face okay, and then we keep going E to extrude right here E to extrude here E to extrude uh, there There, it is a little glitchy, but we'll make do. It's it's a uh, it's really it's a lot better than uh, than modeling just from uh, a reference point. Okay, there we go. Let's check the time. Um, okay, so let's just get. Um, okay, one more thing I want to do. Let's go ahead and take um, this here. Let's go to side view. And this is really important for how we make the lips. So we have one um, edge here. Press E to extrude. Bring it down to this edge. Make sure it's straight in the side view. Let's press SZ and just straighten it out a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to press E to extrude right here. That's three. E to extrude right here. That's four. E to extrude here. And that's, let's move it down here actually, and that's five. Make sure it's straight again. Okay, and then we'll uh, go ahead and continue. And we'll just uh, roughly extrude here. We don't need that last one there. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, so that has been part one of this. Oh, actually, looks like we only hid these last ones down here. So let's just delete those. Okay, save one more time. Okay, this has been part one of the retopology, uh, the retopology tutorial. Sorry, and be sure to watch the next parts. All right, guys, thanks.